going to remove these lug nuts, use a 22 millimeter socket. Take the tire off. Now I'm going to remove these two caliper bolts. Use a 14 millimeter socket, or if you want to, you can use a wrench. Get those loose and take those out. Now slide the caliper up and off. And you want to put a caliper hanger on the caliper and try to hang it from somewhere. It's not going to cause the brake hose to have any tension on it or just place it somewhere that's good right there. Uh, take the brake pads off. If you have to, you can pry them off with a screwdriver or a small pry bar. Use a 15 millimeter socket. Take these two caliper bolts, loosen those up and take those out. careful on this bottom one. If you're using a ratchet, you don't want to get stuck in between the shock and the bolt. And grab the bracket and slide it off. If there's a screw holding the rotor on, you want to take that screw out. Normally it's a T30 socket you're going to use. And if it's stuck on there, you want to take a hammer and just tap in these areas. Just be careful of the studs. Don't hit the studs. And just grab the rotor and it slides right off. Disconnect this wheel speed sensor connector. Just push down on the tab. You should be able to slide it out. There we go. Just to make it easier, push this grommet through so that when the hub comes off, the wire comes off a little bit easier. You can even get it from the inside a little bit. And that's good enough for now. Take the axle nut off. Use a 36 millimeter socket. On the back side of the hub, there is four bolts. You need to take those four bolts out. Use a 13 millimeter socket. They're a little tricky to get to. Do the best you can. And pull that out. And the other three. And that's the last one. Now we're going to try to hammer the hub off. Just take a hammer. Just be careful of the brake shoes if you left those on. Give it a couple taps. Might have to go from the other side. It's starting to come off. Push the axle through the center. And we just have to separate it from the backing shield, holding the shield. Just give it a tap from the back side. You can try tapping it with a hammer or even just using an air chisel. Just trying to get it to separate. There we go. You can take a wire brush and just clean some of this area up. There might be some corrosion around the aluminum. And even on the shield itself, somewhere in the middle, you might have some corrosion, so clean that up. I'm just going to take a thin coat of anti-seize and just put it around where the hub surface would meet the knuckle. That way I won't seize in there in the future. Now I'm just going to slide the wheel speed sensor wire through there while you slide the bearing right in position. Try to pull that grommet through so it lines up. And push the hub in position. Try to get those holes to line up. All right, get the bolts lined up. And get those started. And get the lower ones in. And tighten them down. Try to go evenly. Do the best you can to get a torque wrench in there and torque the bolts to 52 foot pounds.
plug the wheel speed sensor on. Just lock it down. Put the nut on, the axle nut or spindle nut. Tighten it down. And I'm going to use a pry bar, put it in between these studs just to prevent it from spinning. And then I'm going to torque this to 151 foot pounds. I'm just going to put a thin coat of anti seize just on the surface area where the hub is going to meet the rotor. If you have that screw, you want to line that up with that threaded hole. Slide this on. Now I'm going to slide the brake caliper bracket on over the rotor. Take the two bolts. You can put some thread lock adhesive on the bolts. Put the bolts in, get them both started. Now I'm going to torque these bolts to 92 foot-pounds. Now I take the brake pads and install those. The ones with the two little dimples go on the front that are in the middle, and the ones with the dimples on the side go in the back. Good. Make sure the hose is not twisted and slide it over the brake pads. Install the two caliper bolts. And torque those both to 20 foot pounds. If the stud starts spinning, then you can use some pliers or a wrench that fits. Just prevent it from spinning and torque it. Do the same on the other one. Install the wheel. Put the lug nuts on. Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts to 140 foot pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And I'll just go around again, double check. 